Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So about a month ago, we quickly covered the topic of Billy Mitchell's scores being re-recognized and added back to the Guinness Book of World Records on their uh, website, as well as probably any books that come out, they will make mention of him. So if you watch the King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters documentary, it's about 12, 13 years old. It had the protagonist of Steve Wiebe trying to take Billy Mitchell's high scores on Donkey Kong. It's a very good uh, mockumentary, documentary, however you want to take it. So after the Billy Mitchell news, uh, I was kind of curious what happened to Steve Wiebe. And when you go check online, you know, it still says that he's teaching and that he wasn't really into uh, Donkey Kong. He wasn't on the scene anymore. Now, this article is from May 27th from Twin Galaxies, and it just showed up on my Facebook feed. So I was interested. I want to see what was going on, and it's titled, Steve Wiebe Returns to Donkey Kong World Record Pursuits. So right away, I was interested because I thought he was a very likable character in the documentary, and I'm curious to see what he's up to, as if you're clicking on this thumbnail and watching this, I'm sure you are as well. So it reads, after 10 years of hiatus, the star of the documentary, The King of Kong, has returned to Twin Galaxies with a passion to get back into his record-setting groove. So on the Twin Galaxies webpage for Donkey Kong, they have their high scores, which is currently held by John McCurdy, and he is at, I gotta get myself out of there, uh, a million two hundred and fifty nine thousand points and then following down we have Lakeman Copeland Chen all the guys that had taken over the record But if we go down here into the top ten Steve Wiebe is there with one million one hundred and six thousand two hundred points So he's still in the top ten, which is very cool to me and now uh, he has a uh, I guess he made a post where he says, uh, after tenure, okay, it's a wall entry on the Twin Galaxies message board. So he says, hello, fellow gamers. After a 10-year hiatus of chasing world records on Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., it seemed only fitting to get back into the swing of things during all of this madness. Thank you to Jace Hall for reaching out and welcoming me back into the fold. I don't know what will come of it, but might as well see what I've got left in the tank. I'll try to get streaming up and running at some point, but for now, I'll just be recording practice runs on Donkey Kong. I hope to get a few games of Donkey Kong Jr. in after I have accomplished my DK goals. Good luck to everyone in their video gaming pursuits, Steve Wiebe. So, very nice, succinct, to the point. I've always thought Steve Wiebe was a very cool guy, like I said, a likable character from the documentary. He's a fellow teacher, and I was just curious to see what he's up to. So, I know he's cracked a million points, he's on the top 10, and he He's beginning to do live streaming and he actually hit another kill screen just recently within the last four weeks so he's on his way to challenging for the top scores again so that's about it that we have right now about Steve Wiebe and I was just curious to see what was going on with him I'll leave links to these sites as well as the Twin Galaxies top 10 Donkey Kong scores and this is a video from I guess 10 years ago his last hiatus it was a stream of him trying to get to a kill screen trying to get a million point game you can watch that as well and as if anything else comes up I'm sure I'll add it to the comments or there might even be a little um, aside to this video, but you know, I was just curious to see what Steve Wiebe is up to. So it's cool to see that he's back in the Donkey Kong scene and he's challenging for that high score. So if you enjoy this, guys, if you have any other information, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and I'll talk to you again in a couple of days. Take care, guys. Bye.